Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode on the channel. This is going to be essentially episode 1 of a continuation from the Hardcore series. We made it 86 episodes and survived for about 4 plus years. But alas, we did have the status finally revoked on this account last episode. Number 86, that was the number that took us. We lost our status to the Red Crystalline Moose up at Corrupted Gauntlet. I was a bit underprepared, admittedly. And yes, we, uh, we, we were humbled by the Moose. He got us. We've lasted a good long while though, so I'm pretty happy with the run and it was worth a shot. But yeah, this is a continuation, pretty much episode one, on just playing a regular Iron Man. No restrictions, carefree, stress-free, anxiety-free. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to jump back in where we left off and continue hunting for this Bofa, try to avenge the status of my hardcore, and see where things take us. When learning the mechanics of this place, I got extremely lucky on the main account. I got the enhanced at just 12 kill count. So I don't really expect lightning to strike twice, so it will probably take a good long while on this account in comparison hopefully not too long but uh yeah let's jump in there and see lots of elite clues from gauntlet what about this one? Oh my gosh another fury ornament kit <laughs> didn't expect that also got a master what's the first step oh pretty easy and the master clue from that elite is going to yield us a mummy's head that is the last thing i ever expected to get <laughs> we've got a mummy's head now oh <gasps> Yes! Finally! We got one! 115 KC. We can make the helmet out of that. I guess I may as well. Some people just save these up, but... I mean, I don't have an armadillo helmet, so... Is it technically one of the better options for me without an armor helm? I mean, I know you get a set bonus when having all three pieces, but... What about just the helmet if you don't have an armor helm? Is it technically just as good as using like an archer helm or something like that? No, that's for teleporting. I'm going to the wrong spot. I think you can see an icon on the minimap. It's one of these things down here. Yeah, spinning ball. That's where I gotta go. Does this give XP? I think it does. Ooh, 5,000 XP. Nice. How many crystal shards did I actually just use for that? I'm gonna have to watch back on the recording. I don't think I used that many. This seems like about how many I had before. What was that like 100 or something? I don't think that was too expensive. Oh, so I guess I don't actually have a... Wait, no, it's not a ranger's helm, it's an archer's helm. I'm an idiot. Oh, I don't have one of those either. Okay. Uh, so I can compare it to the Robin Hood hat, which, uh, well, defense-wise, it has more defense. And then offensive stats so up here we have, where is range? Plus eight. And this is plus nine, so yeah, it's technically a little bit better. This is the best thing I have available to me right now. Another clue from Gauntlet. Let's see. Ooh, holy wraps. Oh, that's a really nice one. Oh, I'm really happy about that. It's worth a lot too. Almost one mil. Heck yeah. Honestly, the elite clue luck since losing the status has been uh, pretty top notch. Oh, yes! Another one! We got a second one. Just shy of 150kc. So we're catching up. If I get one more, then I'm on rate. Most recent elite clue from the Corrupted Gauntlet blessed me with a mimic. Let's see what we got this time. What, what was my reward? Oh, the runes. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't notice the quantity, 651, that's quite a hefty chunk. Other than that, though, the clue is, <laughs> that's not too great, is it? Oh, <gasps> yes! I just got my third one. Number three, and the crystal legs have now been acquired. Only the plate body to go. <gasps> yes! There's four in a row! I was correct. We did get four in a row. Four weapon seeds, then four armor seeds. So it did work out that way. All right, it's only fitting. Now we're gonna get on the weapon seed train. <laughs> Probably gonna start another streak of those now. But I'm happy to have gotten four in a row. That's really sick. I was gonna do a couple more, but if you need to- Oh! Just got five in a row. <laughs> okay, well this is uh, a big turnaround with the crystals. Um, I'm quite content. We just need one more for the full armor set. And after that, they will become obsolete and I'll probably start getting sick of them. Oh, no way. <laughs> wow, it did happen. We have completed the full crystal armor set. We've gotten six in a row. We got four, four in a row of the one kind and six in a row of this kind. That's kind of gnarly. We actually got six in a row. I did not think that, that would actually happen, but it did. The final piece. We've done it. The full armor set is ours. And at this point forward, every single crystal armor seed that we get as an additional drop will be pain. Might swap the colors around a little bit down the road, but for now I think I'm gonna go with the color green. 
I mean, it makes sense since it's range, and also uh, it'll match my Pegasian boots, which I spent so much time getting. And also, it looks like the price increases every time you buy one of these, so that's convenient. I gotta go back to the bank and get more money. The range strip is looking pretty strong. I like this green aesthetic going on. It's not terribly practical. You'd want to have the Bofa, because I think that's what the set effect applies to, but this looks quite clean. The set effect, by the way, gives 30% to accuracy and 15% of damage. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty darn good. Only works with the Bofa, though. And I guess the Crystal Bow as well. The Weapon Seed streak has concluded. No! I'm so sad. Oh no! <laughs> well, there it is. There's the uh, seventh. We keep getting them at this point. They are essentially useless, though. Well, this is rather embarrassing, but this is going to be 91 construction from Tears of Gothics. I really need to make it so that runecrafting is my lowest skill. Gotta get some construction XP pretty soon to fix that. Ooh! I guess that spinach roll gave me some good luck. We got the blacksmith hood. Oh, I can't even use it. I gotta teleport out first. I wanna see, I wanna see. I think this is a pretty good one. Ooh, yeah, it's not too bad. I actually kind of like that. That's kind of neat. Hopefully I'll get the old boot one day. I really wanted to get that one for a long time. Ah, oh, stop! I've gotten a lot of these in a row now. Well, take number two here. My microphone made the executive decision to not turn on today, I guess. But as you can see, we have just opened up the 400th Corrupted Gauntlet chest. And as is tradition on this account, we are going to continue the trend of not being able to get items under drop rate. I don't know uh, what it is with these range items, but we seem to have been cursed ever since we got spooned the archer ring like four and a half years ago. Since then, it's uh, all gone downhill, but I'm still enjoying this grind. It's nice to watch that red number go up gradually. I'm doing just a few kills per day, and that's kind of keeping me sane. And at the very least, I'm making pretty good money and getting lots of good supplies, so it's not the worst place to go dry. I guess I have proven that sacrificing my hardcore status does not equate to getting spooned at this place. I know it's an irrational thought, but I couldn't help myself but hope that that would be the outcome. Oh, we finally got another armor seed. That took a while. I mean, I got a bunch of them all consecutively, which was really nice. I got the armor pretty early. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while since I got one of these. I've gotten, I think, maybe like five weapon seeds in a row. I got quite a few of the regular weapon seeds, which didn't really matter. I didn't bother to include those in any clips, because who cares? But yep, the duplicate armor seeds have resumed, it looks like. Oh no, another pair of holy wraps. Dag nabbit. At least we got a master. The reason I've been doing my elite straight up is the one out of five chance of getting masters, which hasn't been going that well. I've only gotten like two in the last like 20 elites or so. Uh, but yeah, there's a second one in recent memory. Hopefully this uh, winds up being a good one. What the heck is that? What? What is this? I just messed up. I thought I had a stash, but I don't. So I guess I'm doing two chests, but um, I guess there's been some update to Barrows. A strange icon. No way! Do not leave those on the ground. Oh man, that was the most important right click of my life. So apparently I'm supposed to give this thing to this guy? And it's like a mini quest? Like, when the heck did they ever add this? And is this it? Like, do I have to do anything else? I just... <laughs> what? I guess this introduces you to Barrows or something. It gives... 20,000 prayer XP. Okay, well, thanks for the 95 prayer, Mr. Strange Old Man. I'm so confused. Like, what was the point of that? I'm not complaining, but it's just, like, the most random 20,000 experience of my life. Very exciting. We've got two caskets to open. I got an elite clue from uh, Gauntlet, and then after I did it, I realized I had a master clue in my bank that I guess I got from the previous elite clue from Gauntlet. Ooh, Rune Dragon Mask right off the bat. Um... I thought I actually already had that. I guess I'm thinking of a different tier dragon mask, but that's a pretty good start. What about the master? Ooh, that's yeah, that's one of the worst ones I think I've ever seen. But at least we got a unique from the elite. Oh, that kind of baited me, I'm not going to lie. I saw a crystal. It was the wrong one. 500. What do we have in store for us? Oh. <laughs> well, actually, I did get double death runes. That's good. Uh, the... Mithril arrows are never that fun. Uh, the stack is definitely growing, though. The arrows are kind of something you tend to get a lot of. Getting a little bit tired of the grind, which is understandable. I have done 500 of them, which is quite a lot. Ultimately, though, I, I still somewhat enjoy the content. It's, it's very well designed, and it's not 
you know, the worst thing to do. You also get good supplies, you know, getting a lot of money from this. But what would really perk up my spirits would be getting either a pet or an enhanced. So, yeah, that would be nice, uh, but I don't think we're really on the trajectory of getting either of those. But, oh, one day, it's bound to happen eventually if I keep continuing to grind. In other news, though, I have been doing pretty good um, in terms of, like, the KDR. I think I only died, like, once in the last 150 kills or something. I'm getting a lot more consistent in this place, so yeah, maybe I should have practiced more before attempting this on the hardcore, but I don't know. I, I still hold by my uh, decision. I mean, I did like 150 practice kills in the main. It's not like I was super vastly just grossly underprepared, uh, but yeah, I guess doing a little bit more of this place couldn't hurt. So if you're a hardcore and you're thinking about doing CG, I guess uh, the true number is to get up to maybe like three to 400 KC. Then you start getting really confident and the muscle memory really starts to click. At least it did for me, because I really don't die anymore. It's kind of nice. Every few months, it seems that my microphone makes the executive decision to automatically disconnect from my recording app. And this was one of those times, so there's no actual live audio. But as you can see, we opened an elite casket in the wilderness and we got rewarded with a unique. So. This goes to show, always open your clues in the wilding. You will get rewarded. I'm feeling it on this one. I've got high hopes. It's gonna be something good. Yeah, well, you, you have to try once in a while, you know? Every now and then when you display that overflowing confidence, it pays off, but not, not on this one. <laughs> that did not work. Wow, that was, that was blazingly fast. Like, look at the prep time. 425 prep, and then sub three minute hunt lift kill that doesn't happen too often like just accidentally just randomly get a fast run that was less than a minute off that grandmaster combat achievement task oh my gosh i can't stop getting these where are the uh, armor seeds those are just you know more interesting they got more pizzazz to them wait 228 what is that re 228 i wasn't even paying attention was it really that fast? I mean, I guess that's how it was sub 10 minutes while having a, a full prep time of the full 7.30. 2.28, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, <laughs> was it actually that fast? That's like unheard of. That must be the fastest one I've ever done. And I wasn't even aware of it. Oh, yo, <laughs> yes, yes, dude, we got the pet. Holy, that was not on my radar at all. I was full brain dead mode. You know, I'm 500, almost 600 KC into this grind, so yeah, it's, it's gotten to the point where I'm just kind of numb to it. So that was a nice surprise. I was really hoping I would get this guy. If I didn't get it and I got the enhanced first, there was a chance I might come back to this place to try to go for the pet because I really, really do like this one. So that's cool. Man, that has really picked up my spirits. This place is getting... Stale. I still like it, it's good content, but I needed this. This was good. Appears that we are going to complete the log in its entirety. Because obviously, you know, gonna stay for this, of course. Hopefully soon. But yeah, this, this is nice. Hopefully I'm not one of those people that winds up getting a bunch of duplicate pets. I know that has happened to a lot of people. They'll have like four pets before they get the enhanced. We'll see if I join that club. What? What is happening with these... <laughs> These weapon seeds, they won't leave me alone. I mean, I think I've stated this a few times, so I might sound like a broken record. Obviously, since I have enough armor seeds to make the armor, it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, seed I get between weapon and armor at this point. However, these used to be tied. It was eight versus eight. How have I gotten seven in a row? Oh, not bad. Forgot that I've never actually gotten this item. This seems like something that I would have gotten, but nope. That is a new addition to the collection log. We take these. Probably nothing that I will ever use because it's uh, a little bit flamboyant. I don't know what you would pair this with, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oh my gosh, we finally got an armor seed! <laughs> that took so long. My last one is at like 300 something KC. It's been. At least like 250, it's been forever. So we finally have gotten another one. Oh, hmm. Well, we're back to getting uh, the weapon seats. That's a shame. Also got an elite though, so that's good. It's been a while since I got one of those. It just never ends, oh my gosh. Man. 
<gasps> Yo, another armor seed. Let's go. All right, so now we're up to double digits now. I think we finally are at double digits. Did they have nine last time? Yes, we had nine last time. We have now been bumped up to double digits. It only took 659 uh, chests, which was more than expected, but we got there. Man, I'm just getting so many crystals today. Oh, another one. Nice. So now we're basically alternating, it looks like. Man. No. It's getting much worse. They've almost doubled the uh, armor seeds. No, we can't let that happen. That would be disastrous. I don't want to see it. Stop! Okay, this has gotten to the point where things are a bit concerning. <laughs> no, it happened! Dang it, we are 10 ahead. That sucks. Oh, ooh, nice. Got something. The quick open worked. Sometimes I feel like that helps. I know it's irrational, but... I feel like if you milk it sometimes with your clue scrolls, they just always wind up being like 150k worth of fire lighters and a couple of new seeds and a rune crossbow, but this time we got uh, something I'll never need or use. And that is going to be Mimic number 8. Vanquished him in 22 seconds. I guess that wasn't a PB. It felt pretty fast, but I guess it wasn't my fastest. What's it going to be? What was our reward? Oh, it was the Manta Race. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. The value is really high though because of the purple sweets. Those things are worth quite a lot. 371k just from those. <sighs> it just never ends. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they doubled the armor seeds. And there she is. 800kc at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Pretty much par for the course. We are still dry. Two times the drop rate. That's pretty much baseline for this account. So at least I'm used to it. Oh, the streak is broken. We finally got an armor seed. What? <laughs> Nothing but arrows. <laughs> nice. No. Why are we back to these already? All right, we're going to get an armor seed. <laughs> if it's going to work that easy, then why don't I just go ahead and call for the enhanced? Man, that, that may have been a wasted opportunity in hindsight. Oh, I may have just fumbled the bag on that one. 900th chest incoming. We're closing in on a thousand. Hundred left. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a bowl wig. No, give me the bowl wig. Don't put it on the ground. All right, we have pretty much every single useless master clue unique. As you can see, we've got the bowl wig, the left eye patch, as well as the fancy tiara. <laughs> I don't think anything could be worse. I mean, this log isn't that great. At least we got the torture ornament kit, but other than that, it's just... <laughs> it's all the worst items. Oh, okay, another one of these. It's been a while. It's been a hot second. That is number 14. 14 of these. Oh, <gasps> whoa! Two in one day! I don't think that's ever happened. Well, no, it has happened. Actually, back when I first got the armor, when I got really lucky and got spooned. Um, we got a few in the same day, but... It's been a while since I had two back-to-back -back in such quick succession like this. Oh my gosh, another one! <laughs> it's turning around, I like it. That's three in a row within like about 12 kills or something. Another one! That's like four in a row, I think. We're on a very good streak. Yeah, look at that. Not bad, we're catching up. There we go, this is definitely worthy of a milestone clip. The big... Four digits, 1,000, and drum roll, okay, yep, and as we all expected, we are another chest dry. So that's three years in a row that I've had a year-long grind. The Ranger Boots into the Dragon Pickaxe into the Bofa, although with the Bofa, to be fair, I, I haven't been playing as much. My play volume's a lot lower, so um, that would contribute to the fact that it's taken me over a year. Um, and counting on this grind. I only do like a few chests per day on average. Um, so that's partially my fault. But still, this, this account definitely has a trend of <laughs> not being able to get things on drop right. But my time will come. We will continue trucking along. This place, it's it's not going to defeat me. I mean, I'm still getting lots of supplies, so that's kind of cool. You know, I have more money than I'll ever know what to do with. So at least there's that. I'm going to keep going and my time will come. That might be the fastest unlift kill of my life. Yeah, 214. <laughs> it sure was. 
That was just gnarly. How was that so fast? The weapons just didn't hit any zeros. Probably won't be topping that one anytime soon. Or ever again. Oh, there we go. Another one. Getting closer to 20. This is closing the gap. It's actually getting not as awful as it once was. Nice. Hmm. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. 20! Oh, the gap is being closed. That's the closest it's been in a long time. Oh, man. We're just streaking at this point. That's 21. Absolute streak of the armor seeds. Oh, another one. I'm really loading up on these. Like, this is kind of nuts. This is kind of rivaling when I first started the grind and I got pretty lucky with getting the initial armor set. This is pretty similar to that in terms of the pace that I'm receiving these at. I shot up to in the 20s really, really fast. 23 versus 25. Can we catch up? We are getting so close. 1,100 for the rune stuff. Nice. New collection log item. It's a very boring one, but collection log nonetheless. Ooh, musketeer pants. Oh, I've got the hat that goes with these. I don't know how many pieces go to this entire outfit. Oh! Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I thought for like an entire like second that that was a, um, another armor seed. Wow, we got it. Yes, dude. 1,164. Another year-long grind has concluded. That's like back to back to back. Everything I go for takes me a year. I mean, granted, I'm not playing a whole lot, but uh, yeah, things have been taking a long time. Progress is very stagnant on this account, but we're getting it done. This is quite a surreal feeling, like not being locked to this place. I mean, it would be kind of tempting to maybe slowly grind this place out um, in the future sometime to get a second one so that I can get the blade. I think it's really only used for like TOB so it might not really be worth it but uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't hate this place. It's still kind of a nice routine. It's gonna feel weird not having this as my daily routine. My daily like two CGs per night before bedtime. But yeah this unlocks a, a whole lot of content. Not that I couldn't do it before but it just makes it a lot easier being able to do like TOA and things like that. That's probably gonna be the first objective finally get my hands on some TOA items. Hopefully I can get spooned and get something early right away. Also might return to Chambers of Zarek. This thing's going to be nice for that since I don't have a T-bow. Suppose there's no point wasting any time. Let's go ahead and make this bow. Oh, it's surreal. The, the bofa is about to be in my clutches. It's about to happen. And also for those curious about the final tallies of loot that I received, we're pretty close to 10,000 shards. I was thinking I was going to get it, but looks like that is no longer going to occur. Um, we've got 17 of these, um, quite a few of the armor seeds because of Zolra. It's kind of inflated by that. If we take a look at the collection log, wherever that may be. Oh, it's green. I'm not used to it being green. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Forgot about that. Uh, but if you take a look here, we are still ahead with the weapon seeds, but the armor seeds kind of caught up, which is nice. Got the one pet, no dupes there. And now we have the handsome little enhanced crystal weapon seed filled out in the slot. Fairly confident that I have more than enough crystal shards to make this thing. Um, if I make one, can I dismantle it and make the other? I'm not sure how that works. Probably. I guess when you corrupt it, you cannot. But let's make the bow, get some experience. And in order to corrupt it, I think it's just a thousand. Oh man, that's so easy. I think it's just a thousand shards. Let's find out. Wait, 1900. Oh, it's 2000, I guess. I guess because it already has a hundred in there. Yeah, that was really cheap to make the initial one. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a thousand upon the initial bow and then another like 2000 to corrupt it. But yeah, we will absolutely do that. No point in not doing it. Oh, I guess I can color it too. Should I just make it green? <laughs> or maybe keep it a different color for the contrast. I'm not too certain on if I really even care. <laughs> look at that. I need to disable the plugin that makes my arms look like I'm going across an agility obstacle. It looks a little goofy. <laughs> I just kind of had that enabled for CG because I was just bored to tears there. I needed things to entertain myself. Oh, this is not right. <laughs> is it this person? I don't remember who sells the shards. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Green? 
I've got so much money, I really don't care. I can be super liberal with this. Why not? Let's just make it green. And it is done. We now look like a green Power Ranger. In celebration of finally getting the Bofa, let's go ahead and alk all the stuff we got along the way and see how much money we get, how ridiculous the cash deck's going to grow into. I think I'll also alk the things I got during the uh, year-long Dragon Pickaxe grind and all the Slayer I did along the way. So uh, yeah, let's do some agility and start alking some things, get two birds stoned at the same time. Um, the cash stack's gonna be kind of ridiculous. I might be able to afford the crystal crown after I out call this. I might be pretty close. And then also I gotta start working on agility at some point if I ever want to max. And that's pretty much gonna do it. We've out pretty much everything that we got from Slayer and Clues and Corrupted Gauntlet and that puts us at 112 mil combined with the roughly 200 mil I already had in the bank. So we have easily enough to afford the crystal crown now. I'm gonna consider getting that. I mean that's a good chunk of the cash but I don't know, like, what else am I going to use it for? Look at that. 307 mil on an Iron Man. Never thought the cash deck would balloon to this size. Just to give the Bofa a bit of a test trial and give it its first taste of action, we're going to be trying some, um, I think it's, I'm not sure what the ratio is. It's like 6 to 0 or like 8 to 0 Zami method. I'm watching the guide right now as I'm basically recording this. Uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. But this is pretty much going to be the test run. Let's see how this thing can perform. I've had this Zami task for the entirety of of the CG grind. I was thinking about maybe canceling it and kind of sprinkling in some Slayer just to kind of break out the monotony of the CG grind, but I figured this would be kind of a good reward for me. Once getting the Bofa, I can do some uh, really good um, content that'll be a good way to test the waters with it. So all that waiting has led to this. We finally get a pretty good opportunity to use it. So I've got the Tile Packs plugin on RuneLight and check this out. Just with a click of a mouse, one click and I can just generate whatever tiles I want. So it turns out I think it's a six to zero. There's a five to zero method. Don't know how that works. Oh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has a numbered for you. Could try that one as well. And there's an eight to method, which apparently involves a cannon. Three kills in, I think I might have it this time. My last kill was pretty good. I didn't really have to eat any food during the kill. Let's see if we can get it here. Yeah, I used about five brews during the first kill. So not off to a good start, but we're kind of crawling back. We might be able to say, oh, that may have messed me up. I think I need to highlight the door because the door keeps messing me up. It's really easy to like misclick the door. And I think I messed up. I didn't attack the boss there. Starting to slowly get easier and easier. On this trip, I forgot ranging potions, which kind of sucks, but I don't think you really need them, honestly. Like it dies pretty quickly. So I feel like there are worse things to forget. I think I'll probably also start removing some of these tiles because I don't think they're really necessary. You only need the ones on the edges. The other ones are kind of overly distracting and I don't really see a point. So having to face tank it at the end here because I ran out of energy, but uh, yeah, that actually worked out pretty much perfect. <laughs> like, that could not have gone any better, honestly. I'll be real with you. The fact that I ran out of energy for like the last two hits of the entire task. Um, but we did last um, for 20 kills for that instance, so we got a nice little six points for the Grandmaster Combat achievement, which is kind of nice. Um, getting pretty close to Elite, I guess I'll knock out the rest of the uh, ones for Zami. They're all pretty easy. That was the last of the Grandmaster ones. But that was uh, quite a bit of fun. This thing definitely excels at God Wars Dungeon. I think I can use it at the other three bosses too. Maybe not Armadillo, that's probably not optimal. You probably want to stick with Chins. But for Sarah and Bandos, I think there's some cool methods. So looking forward to uh, continuing to see what this thing can do in the future. No drops though that task, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get a spear or something. And I'm also missing the pet in the hilt. Uh, but we'll go back. I really like doing that Zami method. That was a lot of fun. In conclusion, I would say that this little test run of the Bofa has fulfilled my wildest hopes and dreams and defied all expectations. Very stoked to finally have this item in my possession, and I really appreciate you guys for sticking with the series, and I uh, applaud your patience for waiting it out for another year. Again, as mentioned, I really don't play a whole lot compared to what I used to, so the videos will just get released whenever they're ready. I can't really make any promises or give an ETA on when the next one will be, but yeah, we're going to dive into some TOA, things like that might um, test out some Inferno tasks. I've been putting that off until I get this item. There's been a lot of things that I put off until getting the Bofa, so I'm stoked to finally be able to spread my wings and try some new stuff. But again, yeah, thank you for your patience. I appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that may be. So until then, take care.